All right, um, well, I'm Jacob Ramsey. Uh, I'm a CIT for the San Jose School, so I'm a counselor in training uh, down here. And uh, um, I've been doing this with Doc Bruce and all the other counselors for three years. I've lived on Sandoval all my life. I haven't done too much camping down here, but I have been counseling for a while and I love it. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a camp and um, uh, because we're, Sandoval, it's a, it's a small island, so we're right on the water and we, the kids uh, come down and we go, we go surfing, we go cat, we go like fishing, cast netting uh, for, for fish and different type of bait fish. And uh, we just spend a whole lot of time down on the beach and um, just have the kids have a lot of fun, and I, I know I have a lot of fun, so. I'm a counselor in training, so I don't give too many lessons in itself, but I know that we do here, like, teach about, every week we have a new theme, Shark Week, uh, there's like, squid, different, just different weeks, and uh, Dolphin Week, and things like that, and, and they teach a lot about the fish, and the species of fish, and, and it, a lot of the, uh, the people, the CITs, have been campers here before, or have some of them have lived on Sanibel like I have, so they already have a whole lot of background information on Sanibel. So we're able to kind of inform them and give them little facts, I guess you could say, about the, the fish and the environment and things like that. So I don't give them like cold hard lessons, but I do sometimes put in input on things I know are facts. Uh, really just to, to there's a few things to educate the kids and to to raise awareness for for the ocean itself and you know the safety of it because we're definitely very conservative here with you know recycling and things like that and um, we just are we have like this this mission to to just make kids more interested in the ocean because it's really a cool interesting fun thing and if they like it more then they'll appreciate it more and they'll respect it more so really important and why and well it, we're we're a blue planet so and it holds so much so much biological life and things like that it's i don't know what i would do without the ocean i've i grew up here so i've lived on the water and it's just absolutely amazing and that i can teach and inform the younger generation of kids about it is really awesome i i don't know what i would do without it i um I'm a, uh I, I spend almost every weekend down on the beach fishing with my friends. That's what I. Do. That's what we do. It's just something. It's how we. It's just how we have fun. Like I, I don't. I sometimes I'll go out to and see a movie, but that's rarely. I instead of going out, you know, to sports games and things like that. We we go out on boats. We we go surfing. We go fishing. We do all that type of stuff. And it's really this is just the time of our lives. And the fact that I get to do that is just awesome because it means that I'm really gave me a chance to live my my younger years and these kids here also are getting that chance you know they get to come down here and they get to experience everything that us islanders are doing which is awesome and because you know San Jose Sea School it's like it's in the title Sea School that's what they do oh <laughs> um, well I don't have too many as a camper but even as just a, a CIT I have a lot um, we, uh, for the teenagers, m most fun I ever have here on, down on San Jose School is um, when we go to the Keys. And uh, we go to the Keys, and I love the Keys. And we go down there, and it's, it's for the, uh, the, the, the teenagers mainly, I think like 11 to 14 or 15 or whatever. And um, we, uh, we, the, the best memories I have are going out on the crystal blue water crystal clear water and very very light blue awesome water out on the boat to go r really like hardcore snorkeling <laughs> we uh some of the best snorkeling down in the keys and it's with really like cool people too i love the kids who go i've known some of these kids here for a long time and it's just they're great and we go and we um uh we, we'll like we do a lot of cool labs and stuff down there too. So definitely one of my favorite things is the keys. Um, um, another one, uh, it's probably, so, sometimes they're really good at the, the labs that they have. We've had labs where we've dissected squids before. I remember there was this one lab where uh, we, there was, it was a squid and I've never like dissected an animal or anything before in my life, not even in school. And I remember that was just really, really neat for me because I, I love marine biology and the fact that I finally got a 
open up and dig inside of a squid was pretty neat. It was really cool. And uh, I, I was kind of bracing myself, you know, thinking, oh, this is going to be gross, but no, it was awesome. I kind of want to pursue a job in marine biology, so that's definitely a reason that I, I don't know, I, I guess San Francisco School is a big help there. Because, um, but I mean, I, I guess uh, my parents want me to, and you know, I can't learn a good way to learn math. Probably San Jose School because I I just love the people here. Like, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't say that there's any kids that are less fortunate that have impacted me, but they just kids that have had definitely had an impact on me. Okay, well talk to me about that. Um, one of the biggest is uh, my 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 friend Mason. Is okay if I call? Yeah, okay, yeah, my friend Mason. He's also a CIT. His brother, Peter. I've known Peter. He's lived on Sandville all his life too. I've known Peter. Um, since, since Peter was a baby baby, and uh, Peter, um, I, he's, he, he's, he's just always been there, and I, I love Peter, he's, he's one of my, the best kids I know, um, he's good friends with me, he's good friends with my younger sister, he goes to the Sandville school, same school I went to, and uh, he's, just, he's just a great kid, and I love him because I feel like he, he really wants to do something someday with marine life. I remember one time I took him out fishing, and it was just, I could see it in his eyes how much he loved it, and he, but I see the same thing here. Whenever you know I push him on the surfboard down at the beach, he just he just really loves the ocean. I mean, he comes here so so often, and he I don't know he's just he's he's just one of the, like the main re he's just one of those reasons that I I love coming back here is because I like to see the kids and how much fun they have. Okay. Ocean love is having respect for the ocean. It's um. It's wanting to get to know the ocean better. It's wanting to be a part of the, uh, the marine life, I guess you could say, by, uh, by, by involving yourself with keeping it safe. But ocean love could also be, you know, going out uh, on a day on a boat or something and going fishing. It's, it's, just, it's just enjoying your time on the water. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I mean, we're on an island for one. That's pretty awesome. And it's a great island. Um, uh, and. You're, you're not just having the time of your life, you're also getting a little of education out of it. Not, not a little, a lot actually. So, so it's like that, that the school you always wanted where every day is a field trip and it's not you know sitting in a classroom all day. It's actually being hands-on and interacting with the sea life, with the ocean, and having fun and just learning a lot about the marine life of Sanibel and of our world actually. It, Sanibel is like a microcosm of the entire planet in a way. It's just, if you, whatever we learn on here about the sea life and stuff is also going on over in Hawaii and other places around the world. So it's just, it's just perfect. It seems like uh, San Jose School just was started in the right place at the right time. And, and I don't know, it's just great. Well, it's a very legitimate cause for one. It's, it's, if we could really help this grow, then it could be a big deal. We could. Um, inform so many more kids on this and they just start a just a huge it would be a huge deal and I think you should because well I mean you, you just need to see the island for one it's a beautiful place and if you help San Jose School grow then you know you'll help the devotion and respect that most of the counselors and kids here will give and are giving currently so I don't know you just really I, I suggest you fund it. Okay um, if I were to be a sea creature it would be the, uh, the greatest fish of all time, the Megalops atlanticus, and that's the, that's the tarpon. And it's, um, it's a great, great fish. Um, all my life, my dad and has been going on about, son, someday you're going to catch the tarpon. And it's, it's the greatest game fish to catch down here. It's an, it's an amazing fish, and I love fishing. And the reason I'd like to be a tarpon is because they're highly respected. They're called the silver king of the ocean. They're, so, you know, that's, you can tell they have a big name. And they're just awesome. They, they're, they're fast, they're smart, they're, they're everything that I guess you would want in a fish. And they're, um, they, if someone ever caught me on a, on a hook, then you know, they deserve to catch me because I'm, I'm a pretty smart fish. Um, they, I've gone on a lot about the ocean and uh, how much I love the education and stuff, but the people are one of the best parts of it. You know, one of the main things that Doc Bruce tells us is to always love the kids, and that's like that's the number one lesson. Well, besides keeping them safe, which is also the biggest one, but love, 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 love is what he's always saying before we uh, go out. And us as CITs, we have an earlier meeting, so before our meeting, when the kids get here, he's always going on about how much we need to. Uh, take care and love the kids and we do and everyone has this kind of like a 
peaceful, easy kind of thing going on where we just we just have fun with the kids, but in, you know we don't use a harsh tone. We don't scream at them. We're not directing them like teachers or anything else. We're just kind of having fun and I guess loving them. <laughs>